Welcome to our lecture online. In this video, we're going to expand on what we did in the previous video. On the first quadrant right here, I don't know what I would call this, but this table perhaps, that's the remnants of what we did in the previous video. We had three particles, we called them A, B, and C, and four energy levels, where the first energy level had zero quantum energies, the second one had one quantum energy, the third level had two quantum energies, and the fourth level had three quantum energies we were constrained that the total energy of the three particles, A, B, and C, which were, by the way, distinguishable, well, the total energy could have to be not more or less than, but had to be a total of three quantum energies. So how can we arrange the particles? Well, we can have two in the zero energy and one in the three quantum energy level. And so therefore, when you add them together, that gives us three quantum energies, and that would be one of the macro states. The second one was where we had one particle that was in the level that had two quantum energies, one that was in the level that had one quantum energy, one in the level that had zero quantum energies. You add them together, you get three quantum energies, and we found out that there were six possible ways in which the uh, particles could be arranged, so there were six macrostates in the second macrostate, three macrostates in the first macrostate, and then the final arrangement was that we had all three particles in the level where there was one quantum energy available for each particle, totaling to three quantum energies, and therefore there was only one way in which this could be arranged, one microstate in the third macrostate, and then we can calculate the normalized probability, there's a total of 10 microstates, three in this column, six in this column, one in this column, that gives us the normalized probabilities of 30%, 60%, and 10% of the time the particles would be arranged in those arrangements. So, what would it be now if we had a different constraint? Still the same number of particles, A, B, and C, they're distinguishable, the same four energy levels with the specific amount of quantum energy available, but the constraint now was that there is a total of four energies of the three particles combined. Not less, not more, they had to add up to four. So how many macrostates are there? How many macrostates in each macrostate? And what is the thermodynamic probability normalized? All right, well, let's see here. If we begin by putting one particle here, then the only other option would be to have one more particle in this level, so you can see that these two add together to four, that means the third particle must be here, and there could be zero particles at that level. Notice that's the only way you could arrange that, so there's only one configuration, but how many microstates are there? Well, for the, uh, for the uh, level, uh, for uh, I should say for the first, let's call this the first microstate, so for k equals 1, we have what we call n factorial divided by n1 factorial, n2 factorial, n3 factorial, n4 factorial, like this. So that's how we can figure out how many different microstates there are. So we know that n factorial represents the total number of particles factorial divided by how many in the first level? Well, let's, let's just start from high to low. So we have 1 factorial 0 factorial, 1 factorial, and 1 factorial, and so you can see that would be equal to 6 divided by 1, or 6. So there's a total of 6 microstates in that particular configuration. We can't figure out the probability yet because we first have to tally up all the, all the total probabilities, of course, or all the total microstates. All right, let's go for the next one. Let's say we have 0 here. And, well, we could have 2 here, for example, because 2 times 2 gives us 4. That gives us 0 here and 1 there. All right, that's, let's call that the second macro state. And so for k equals 2, we now have an arrangement. We have 3 factorial divided by 0 factorial, 2 factorial, 0 factorial, 1 factorial. So that would be 6 divided by 2 or 3. So that means there's three different microstates in that one. All right, could we have another arrangement? Well, we could have one here, which means we would need two there and zero there, because of course you have a total of three and zero there, which means that's the final way in which things could be configured. So let's call that the third macrostate. And to get the number of, the number of uh, microstates for k equals three, 
course that would be 3 factorial divided by 0 factorial, 1 factorial, 2 factorial, and 0 factorial, that would be 6 divided by 2 or 3 again. And so again, there's three different microstates. So if the constraint is that the total energy must be four quantum energies instead of three quantum energies, notice we now have a total of 12 microstates, microstates instead of just 10 microstates. Same number of microstates? Well, is there any other way in which we could arrange them? Well, let's see here. If you don't have any there and you don't have any there, then if you place three here, that would not add, add up to four quantum energy, so there's, yes, there's no other way in which you can range the particles to add up to four quantum energy. So there's only three macrostates. Now, the thermodynamic probability normalized, the total would be equal to 12 when you add them up. And so 6 out of 12, 6 out of 12, that's equal to 0 0.5. 3 out of 12, that's equal to 0 0.25, and here again, 0 0.25. So the normalized probabilities is 50% of the time you'd have this configuration, 25% of the time you'd have this configuration, and 25% of the time you'd have this configuration. So you can see that we can expand what we learned in the previous video onto a different situation with a different total amount of energy available for the three particles and that's how they would be arranged with those types of with those number of microstates and the type of probabilities that we have before us and that is how it's done you think that's interesting <laughs> it's kind of neat once you figure out how to do it no okay <laughs>